Hello everyone, my name is Assembly Assembly, also known as SIGFLUP, and uh, you're watching Gender Queer Chat. Um, I'm coming to you as the first, um, um, as the first bringer, I, I guess, of uh, this week's topic, and uh, so it is uh, my own choice for topic. Raging apologies if uh, to people after me if uh, this is a rather difficult topic to to cover uh, in relationship to gender uh, curiosity. Um, my feelings on it are fairly abstract, but 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 I feel it's it's uh, it's related. Style. That's what the topic is. Uh, the topic is about style and uh, its relation uh, to um, being gender queer. Um, let's see, how should I put this? Um, for myself, I find that I have a distrust. And I feel this, 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 uh, this happens with a lot of people. Um, I have a, a distrust. A lot of people who are in some way a minority, although in population they could be a minor uh, majority. Um, as is the case for non-white people and uh, and uh, women as well, happens to be the majority in population. But whatever. Um, I have a distrust of people who I feel don't share in some way my experience um, being a, an androgynous person and being a um, very androgynous looking person and someone who lives on, on borders. Um, I'm, I'm told a lot by people uh, how concerned they are for me that I dress the way I do or I, or I keep the the style that I do um, because it is fairly androgynous and well you don't have to look so androgynous now do you? You just need to take a, a few steps and you'll look like one of us and uh, that's where my distrust comes in because I've, I've gotten that a good number of, of times. <laughs> um, I like to call them concern trolls. That's not my quote. Uh, I mean, that's not that, that's not my term. Um, I got it from the Geek Feminism Wiki. Um, concern troll. You should look that up. It's it's a person who shows concern uh, that you are not fully realizing all of an issue in order to derail uh, you in 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 your own concern, if that, if that makes sense. So yeah, yeah. If you ever get like a short haircut or something like that, or, or in some way, Hey, I want to wear this here. And people are like, I don't know. Um, people uh, might look at you. You don't want people to look at you. People might uh, give you the eye. Who knows what they're thinking? They could be thinking all sorts of bad things uh, about you. They could be thinking uh, that you are a dyke, who, God forbid, or, or something of, of, of that nature. So that's, that's a concern troll. And I find in presenting myself androgynous, in, in embodying, a sense, in embodying a style that makes me, makes other people aware that I'm androgynous and, and flavors their interactions with me uh, to treat me as such. Um, in in my style, I think uh, it is is important for for my life, um, because well I don't know I've I've always lived on the border of things and it's I guess it's still in a border. Um, but uh, okay, so this is a picture of me some time ago. Um, I uh, decided uh, around nineteen or so or eighteen that hey. I should look really, really feminine, and and so I did uh, for some time. My phone is falling off. Let me. There we are. All right. I just I decided that uh, I should look fairly feminine, and I did for a while, and uh, um, which didn't, didn't really didn't really work out for me. I mean, I've, I've always been kind of androgynous looking as a kid, but but I decided to go against that, and uh, I felt out of place. I felt really out of place. 
and uh, um, I became all the more aware of how people sort of um, people. I became all the more aware of, of how people uh, dressing as a as a feminine person, how how people um, talk to you as if you're a third in the third person, as if you're not even there, as as if the femininity which you present is not something that you own, but rather it's it's something that they own, and it's something that is put on to you, and uh, that's that's the that's what I got from it. So I'm like, all right, cut your damn hair. Um, you just cut your hair. So I, I cut my hair. I was, I was dying and bleaching it for a long time. Uh, and, uh, so yeah, cut it to the roots. It's damaged anyway. And so then I looked like this for a while and I had really short hair, but, uh, um, shorter than I, than I have now, but, uh, it was tight and, uh, and, um, people said I looked like Winona Ryder a lot, which, I don't know. I don't think I look like her at all. But the uh, um so <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I I I I've kind of come to having longer hair and and hair that sort of comes down when I get nervous I like to go like this or go like this. And uh, I think hair is is something that I have a reasonable control over. And I think style in general is something that people have a reasonable control over. It's one of the first freedoms you're given is is being able to dress yourself and uh to dress yourself in ways that aren't appropriate for your gender um as it's perceived and imposed from the outside um is a way to stand up Um, I also believe that there, there's more than just style. I also believe that uh, in in a society where we do not have control and the only control given to us is is personal preference and, and style. And I think that going way too far with style is a problem because because of that. I think uh, there are more important, broader ways to control your life. Um, but that style definitely is one and it definitely flavors how people interact with you. Um, if, if you dress like a dyke, people are going to treat you su as such and you'll know what that means to other people and you'll know the social space that is allotted for you depending on how you dress. Um, so dressing for myself, looking fairly androgynous is important because I want to live in that social space of androgyny and I, I want to experience that. I, I, I no, that's that's where I am, and uh, I want to expand that area and, and bring uh, and and just uh, uh, have it more, give it more depth and meaning. Um, because I, I personally think androgyny is very very important uh, because it's a catalyst for for deconstructing gender, and I, I think gender has a um, is very deeply intertwined uh, with with um with um systems of of domination and submission uh which is very uh intertwined with with all sorts of oppressions um and uh yeah so again my my thoughts really aren't too formalized on this um and so I don't really know what to say but uh, um yeah style uh, how's your style um and, and what are your feelings on it, uh, being a gender queer person? Good luck. If you feel you can't answer this, make up a, a topic. <laughs> so, because I'm just making up a topic here, because there wasn't one. Um, so, uh, take care, everyone. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you later. Bye-bye.